subjects of mathematics. So first things first, we need to do maths because, right, I know a lot of you say, oh maths, ew, uh, but we need to do maths because there's a lot of uni subjects that requires maths, okay? I'm just going down this science, health science, education, engine, engineering, IT, commerce, finance, these are the subjects that you kind of need maths. And whether you like it or not, you're gonna have to do it. So now we're gonna be looking at the three different types of maths. So there's further maths, basic maths, then you got your maths method, medium maths, and then you got the specialist maths, which is the really advanced maths. Okay, so what's the difference between the three maths? So let's just start off with the further maths first. So the further maths you're looking at Mm, about six topics that you may cover. I say may because there are two topics that you must cover, and that is statistics and financial maths. So these are what we call the core subjects, and you have to do them no matter whether you like them or you don't like them. So you have to do it. And then you look at the four other areas, we call them modules. So you have the linear modules, you have the matrices modules, you've got the geometry, trigonometry module, and the last of all, I think it was networks. So those are the four modules that you'll be looking at. And your school will pick two of the four with the core subjects, which is the statistics, as well as the financial maths. So you have to do all four, okay? So now, why is further, ma why is further maths important? Well, further maths is important for subjects such as science, uh, such as commerce and finance, you definitely need those basic maths where you need statistics because science, health science, you're going to be looking a lot in um, statistics, finance of course, and linear modeling, things like that. IT, you probably need it too if you're doing networking, you need it too if you're doing networking and you're doing matrices, those are really important fundamental basics for IT, so that's definitely some of the subjects and topics that you need for further maths. So if you're thinking about doing those subjects in uni, further maths is all you require, okay? All right, so now we're gonna be looking at maths method. So maths method is, you call it the middle tier of math. You're going to be looking over the three areas. So one area is functions and relations. Basically, that means drawing graphs, right? Um, and then you got uh, your calculus, which is integration, differentiation stuff. Basically, looking at rates and the areas underneath the curves. And then you got the last one, which is probably the statistics. And probably in statistics, it's kind of obvious. What's the probability of you uh, going to the to the shops on a rainy day? Things like that. So. These are the three main areas that you'll be looking at. Now, the purpose of doing that method is to do subjects such as basic engineering, uh, looking at science, more like applied sciences. Uh, you're looking at maybe something with a bit of physics here and there. It would be nice if you do have some math method background if you're doing some finance as well, where the mathematics is a bit more vigorous in the commerce side of things. So anything to do with uh, mathematics, but with a little bit more precision than just working out the probability and statistics, then maths method is for you. So uh, yeah, and also it does give you a bit of bonus points as well. So it's definitely worth doing if you're looking for that little bit of bump up scaling, as well as, you know, a little bit of challenge, a little bit of challenge as well as for your uni course and everything else. So. Maths method, yeah, definitely good for you. Uh, 
Hello again. Now we're going to look at the third and final subject, the specialist mats. Yes, I hope there's fire in the background right now. Um, this is definitely the hardest mats that you will experience in VC, and the subjects we'll be looking at are uh, specialists. There's going to be three areas that you're covering again. It's, you can say functions and relations, but it's more to do with geometry stuff. So there's that functions in relation with the geometry stuff. Now in that geometry stuff, we're also looking at vectors. We're also looking at complex numbers. So those are the things that you cover as well as the functions in relation, which is the mass method stuff. One part. The second part is you're going to be looking at calculus again. I know it's the same as mass method, but there's an extended version. So it's, it's what you do in mass method calculus, and you do that for a whole term in mass method. Now in specialist, whatever you've done in max method for a whole term, you're going to kind of compress that down to about two weeks and then continue the rest of the term for specialist calculus. So it's, it's a bit deeper than what you usually do for uh, calculus in specialist. And then the third and final part is, um, it, it, had, it, it breaks into two modules. So one is uh, the mechanics, dynamics, the physics stuff, I call it. Uh, so you're looking at pulleys, you're looking at moving things on the plane, things like that, forces basically, forces. So that's one module, and the other module that you'll be looking at is statistics and probability. Now, your school has to choose one of the modules when you're doing the internal uh, assessment, but uh, assessment, but when you're doing exam, you have to do all of it. So that's the thing about specialist maths. The good thing about specialist maths is, if, well, there is no real benefit of specialist maths besides the vigor, if you like the burning effect. Okay, so that's the good thing about specialist maths. But, specialist maths, but if you're doing engineering, definitely worth your time doing it. Okay, now I know some kids are going to be saying, I'm doing specialist maths because it's scared me. Yeah, I know, I know, we know. There's that plus 10 points at the end of the rainbow. It's great. Uh, all, plus, uh, all plus 11 from time to time. So yes, definitely worth it. But at the same time, it does make you, uh, I suppose, destroy maths method. Uh, so that's basically the, the idea. If you're doing specialist maths, it makes maths method a lot easier and it gives you a different take on just doing your normal mathematics but definitely worth the challenge. So I highly recommend it. If you want the burning effect,